Hello everybody, welcome back. We have um, B-17 Flying Fortress Leader by DBG Games, Dean Brown, Designer. We are into the first week of November. Um, Gotta get some points. Gotta get some points bad and we're not getting the targets for it. So, um, gotta do a little bit better. Recon missions. And I end up watching my point and my points a little bit. So, I only have an 8 and a 4. So, I'm gonna put the... On, yeah, I'm gonna put him on one of these guys, and maybe I can get, um, maybe I can get uh, some good recon on that, or something better than zero. But we're gonna, I'm gonna go heavy on this. We got to get that four and start getting some business on them. And I will send a group on, on after this, this factory this time, to try and get them out of here too. Get those two points in the bag. To recon first, we're going to roll in this one. He needs a 6 to 8 to get a medium. Oh, 1. We lost it right away. Glad I didn't spend for an 8. This one right here, we get a 9. That's um, high intel. Guess I know what my one target's going to be. Um... Determine weather into zones. This is going to be the big one. Last time that mostly cloudy changed my plans a lot. That's why I like playing with all the rules. And if you do it, guys, play this and you think it's easy, just try using the um, the three-way M30s in the um, expansion uh, rather than the twos. It makes a huge difference. You're losing usually like between four to six possible hit uh, or dice rolls for damage per target every mission and it's made a huge difference in this campaign i'm having a hell of a time trying to get a good result on it um i like it definitely a challenge um weather over england plus one ten clear i'll stay clear uh zone one five that's partly cloudy now so that's going to help us that's where I'd like to get in here. Most of my targets are in there. I'd like to get it. Well, most of my unprotected targets are in there. Um, zone 2. 1. It's going to be stormy. We can't go in the zone 2. I'm not going to spend points to, to wait. And zone 3. This is why I like using all the different uh, things. The random has hurt me too. And boy. Stormy and two of them. Oh boy. We are. Doug, very, I have not run into that before. So we're stuck going into zone one. Fortunately, most of my targets are in there, but are the ones I want in there? 13? Nope. One of them's down here, and I can't access that. That's the one I wanted to get a hold of. And nine. But nine is there, so he's going to be my number one mission. I can only send three bombers to that. Um, uh, man, I always, well, almost want to spend the points to delay this, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, that's gonna be my first, the first attack right there is, um, I can't send any missions to anybody else. Five. That's a tough one to hit, too, and I don't have intel on it. I want somebody that's going to be relatively easy. The only one that's relatively easy is this one, an 8. And of course, that's got shit ton of bandits on it. Now nah, let's go for it. It's early yet. We'll go for it. All right, so there's my mission. We're going to sign the bombers. Um, we can only send three to each one, so somebody's going to sit. Who do I want to sit? Let's let um, race that last time. Let's let our um, 
You know what? No, that, that would be a good thing to send my. That would be a good thing to send my YB40. But yeah, but see, he just, I, I lose that one point on that. It's bad enough I got flat coming in. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I only want my best guys going out. All right, here's what we're gonna do. This whole third squadron's gone out after the after one of them. That's gonna be my mission number two. That I'm sending in after the um. The high intel target. No, it'll be mission number one, the one I'm sending after the high intel. So my third wing is going into there. That's the one in nine. That's right here. So I'm gonna send my third wing in there, and they're gonna get they're gonna get my uh, lesser rookie. So what is the target number on that one? AF-10. That is my first one, right? Boy, I can't remember shit. There we go. AF-10. That's going to be my whole third wing. And they'll get my uh, lower quality four. And then we're going to we're going to combine two groups. Leaving one guy home from each one to get the um, target one AF eleven. AF eleven. I'm going to leave. We're going to leave the three hundred sixth, and we're going to leave the ninety third behind. AF eleven. They're going to take along the 31st. All right. There you have it. And uh, on this first target, I'm probably not going to purchase equipment. We're going to have chaff along with us, obviously. Mission set up. Oh, we've got armed, armed and bombers. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to move this off to the side over here so I can see that while I'm doing this. Hmm. AF-11, target number one. Yep, getting forced into... Uh, not target number one. AF-10 is target number one. Send the current target, high intel. This is the one that I'm probably going to be able to beat up. These guys are dispersed, so I'm not going to spend any points on them except what I bare minimum have to, to... Um, To make this work. So we're going to get the plus two mods anyway. Uh, that's going to be my whole third squadron. Or wing. So who do I want first here? My best uh, ATA will be the 301st. That's going to be one. Ray goes out with the 301st. So he's going to be one. Um, let's put in these guys second, and LeMay and his group in third. All right, and they also get the rookies. Not really rookies anymore. All right, arm them up. We're going to buy Chef. That's an automatic with that uh, radar there. That's going to be a two points off. That means we've used six, leaves nine for the next one. 
That's also using up one of our weights. So we've got uh, five left. I'm going to use cheapies to get us up to four. I'm going to use a one point to get us up to six. That's seven. And that's all we're going to use for these guys. Everybody else gets up cheapos. See where with the two weights, I'd be able to put um, an extra counter on each one of these. Right now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If I get every point available to me, I will destroy this target. But it's going to be very hard to do. Um, before, I would have had two more chances, to four more chances to get it. But a lot better odds. So just that one little difference, that's that one little weight difference made a huge difference in this campaign. I said I really like the challenge. It's definitely not easy. Um, Commander Tactics. He gets suppress. He gets evasion. Uh, let's place all of our aircraft. He's going to, again, I'm going to put him up at the high. All right, and place our target marker. We're going down to hex nine right here. And we're going to go straight through. It's safer to go right here, so we're going to go that way. Okay, um, roll for Luftwaffe uh, response, nothing added, we get a subtracted two, and that's a, a five, which is going to give us an average response. So we're not actually going to see anybody except him right there. All right. Um, draw target by an event. Bomb jettison. Well, I guess we're not doing this. <laughs> Random bomber must jettison one bomb of your choice. That sucks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Reroll. Middle one. Of course it is. Uh, all right. We're definitely not destroying this target. Uh, move mission counter. No Germans, so we don't have to do anything else. Move mission counter. Now we have Germans. So, um, roof off interception. Draw one. Will be a no bandit. Even if it's on top, this is a deck, so even if it's on top, you see it on top, it's not necessarily what we're going to get. Um, so, no bandit, we don't have to worry about him. He'll flip to his one side. We go to straight to low intel, but we have high intel, so that don't matter. Go straight to the flak. Our chaff is going to offset the active. Gonna bring his bombs up here. Uh, we got a minus one for the flak, minus two, minus three. Gonna roll twice. We get a four, I mean a four, yeah, four and a five. Both miss. We're a plus one, nothing for the weather. Plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven. Nine. Two damage. All right, um, this one here, we get it plus five, seven. That's going to be two more damage. See, no matter what, we're not going to get it because of that jettison. But it would be nice to come out of here with a heavy anyway. Uh, next in, with his oh, half a bomb load, minus three on the black rolls. 
I got a two and a six. The six is going to be a miss. Coming in plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven. Nine. Two more hits. But it would have nice had that one band, one bomb left. High modifiers are awesome, but it was just we don't have enough bomb loads to do this. Uh, plus one, uh, minus one, minus two, minus three for the flak. We get a seven and a ten goes to a four and a seven. They're going to all miss. That high intel is impossible for them to hit. I shouldn't even have rolled for it, but hey, what the hell, play it through. Plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven, ten. That's two more damage. And plus seven on this one. Two more damage. So we might have gotten it had we not had to jettison them bombs. All right. Hammer bound event card. Decrease Luftwaffe activity. Draw two less bandits for any bandit interceptions. We're not going to get any, so that don't matter. We're going to move our, our counter there and then move it to here. Doesn't matter. He would have rearmed. And there you have it. We are out of there. End of that mission. This guy goes to heavy damage. One point short. All we needed was that one bomb. We had the jettison. Final damage is going to be heavy. Oh, crap. I just saw that. Two fighters. See, I have that in there to remind me, too. We got to play them two fighters out. We had the one with the no band that these two would have come in. He would have gotten them both because he's less than, so they go both to him. Oh boy, I hate to I hate it when I mess up like that. I just noticed that. And I'm supposed to have them in there for, in, to remind me. Um, he is slow, so they get to go first. He got zero, no tactics. So we roll for the veteran first. Two, he misses. We fire back at him. We got a four. Minus two is a two. We roll a two. We miss. This guy fires at us. This is the first one. Um, he needs a, he rolls his dice eight. It's going to be two hits on us. And... We fire back at him. We get a plus four, plus five. That's six. We miss him. Oh, come on, Greg. I'm all messed up now. They come back. The veteran comes back, fires five, gets one more hit on us. Can't get the out of sun because we came in high. Uh, we, we fire back at him, plus two, six, seven, eight. Don't get him. This guy fires at us. The seven, that's going to be two more hits. Ouch. And we fire back at him. Ten. He's gone. We get an extra XP for that one. Takes some up to two. And it'll also move this. Oh, I should have reset that to zero. I already took the counter away. Um. This guy's going to fire on the third pass. Nine. Ouch. Three more hits. That's going to take us down. That's a lot. Two. Three. One short of. Two short. We just hit shake. We will go to shaking. And we get a plus two, minus two, so we need a straight up ten to get him, and we do not. So he's going to return to the bandits deck. We did not get rid of him for the future. We draw an engagement, which is going to take us down to ten. So we're equal to, but it doesn't matter because, as we know, they're not going to do anything anyway. They were sorry about that. I forgot that until I went to discard the card. We needed to take care of that. And that was target number three. Stepping back in time a little bit to take care of that um, screw up on my part. And we return this to the uh, 
this one here. We destroyed that target. Getting bad about returning stuff. All right, so all we did then is piss them off, really. We got high, heavy damage on it. So we do get that. Everybody gets 1.6. He'll promote 3. Undo that. Somehow I managed to move to the next one. Yeah, he's 3 anyway. 3. 3. He gets 3. Alright, so the 3 or 3rd will promote to clean this all up. All right, three a third will promote. Goes from an average six up to a skilled seven. Doesn't really change much. Skilled seven. You're going to have zero points. All right, um, that's it. That's all we could do. Next group. Going to arm them bombers. So we're going to go ahead and put this down to the UK base. We're going to send this to the current target. We don't know what kind of intel we're going to, what, what we're going to see at the target. So we don't roll it out for later. Arming up the, uh, again, this is dispersed, so we can go cheap if we want to, but I'm not going to. Uh, we are using our better bombers on this one. Um, I do not want him leading. I want one of the guys that can actually do something. This guy's one of the better bombers. I have him lead because he's got the YB-40. And uh, 97th is going to go out in this one with Fiegel. He'll be group two. And that'll be this guy here will be group three. And the 44th, I think Johnson goes with them. Yes, 44th Johnson goes with them. And they're going out with these guys as their fighter cover. All right, again, we're buying chaff. That's two. That goes down to, well, we got eight carrying over. We're going to use two up for the chaff. We're going to lose one weight point. Um, yeah, I'm going to buy some stuff on this one. I'll get the M44s for two points. That takes us up to four. And then I'll get a uh, M43 for one. So that's three points we're going to use right there. At least it's three left. This guy. Well, we're going to have to do this cheap. And then we're going to have this guy coming down. If I do that, I can't get his, can't get his last little bit in there. So I'm going to just go ahead and cheat on him too. And um, get the extra one point. To, yeah, average him out. This guy gets one more. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a point on him too. Keep forgetting we have the overweight on him. Well, two more points on there. That's going to leave us one point left to carry over. Uh, 
All right, that's my load up. Let's get these uh, the bomber stream set up, shall we? Going to have him go high again. Counteract that. Um, counteract the German commanders. Group attack or out of the sun, rather. Um. All right. Keep closing that damn SOP. I fixed that in a later edition, but it doesn't show up because of my save game. Target counter. We're going after hex eight, which is right down here, buried in all of this Luftwaffe. So we're the for taking chances, but we have to because there's nothing else. And I'm just going to come out the safe way right here. Um, roll for the response. No response modifier. We got a minus two. Gonna be a poor response. Max of two, which is gonna hurt them because they're not gonna be able to bring all three of these guys out at us. So that actually helps us a bit. Target bound event card. Unprepared. Reduce loop off response by one, minimum of four. That doesn't hurt or help us. We're already at poor. Remove mission counter. Nothing for the first uh, group. This is my second target, yeah. Nothing for the first one, so we're going to go ahead and move it into the second one right away. We're going to have two Luftwaffe come at us again. There's nothing down here. We draw one. Draw two. They're all coming out of the sun, but we're in the right spot for that. He's going to get both, both fighters again because he has no damage on him. I think I played that wrong in the last one, too. When he took his second damage, that last guy should have attacked one of the bombers. I'm not going to go back and fix that. I'll just admit I made a mistake, and we're not. it's too late to make it right. <coughs> he took one for the team, taking the extra damage. Then. Um, no, and that may have happened on his third round anyway. That's what we're going to put over to the... There we go. All right, we're both coming after him. The 31st is slow. And who's my veteran group? Ray. Ray should have been a veteran. I forgot to turn him over when I promoted them up. Ray gets the veteran. Vet Ace, Evasion, Suppress. I don't use them too much for, in this campaign anyway. Not a whole lot of uh, Luftwaffe going on this early in the war. Nobody else has any. He gets Evasion. All right. Um, they go first. We are a zero, so we don't affect their fire any. They fire one, miss. We're going to fire back. We're a plus four. Minus two at a plus two. We get a seven, eight, nine. Just barely don't get him. This guy's going to fire. He gets a two. He misses. We fire back. We get a four. Six is a ten. We take him out of the air. That's going to move this over one and give us an XP. Round number two. This guy's going to attack. Eight. Paying the price for not shooting him down as we take three damage. Um, we're going to fire back at a four. Oh, we're still good. Yeah, barely. Zero to four, we're okay. Uh, so we got a plus four, minus two, and a plus two. Ten. Good. He goes back to the veterans' decks. You knock them out, you knock them out for good the duration. We take him out. He does not get to come back at us. We get another XP for that one. 
we um, move this over one and we draw an engagement chip and that takes us to five so we are officially shaken now until we get back to base all right do the rearming two of these drop to one We go to the target. We roll for low intel. This is my favorite part. Not. Five. That's not bad. Minus one air to ground and plus one flak. I'd say minus two is that I hate. Minus one and minus one. Or minus one and plus one, rather. He's still. Send to target intel. Send to target intel. Separate them. We got nothing happening with the weather. We're going to go ahead and send 92nd in first. The chaff is going to take out the radar. We get a minus one for durability. Plus one here, so that's zero. We're rolling twice. We get a four to three, both miss. We come in with a plus one. Minus one for being a YB40, that's zero. Nothing for the weather. Minus one. Plus two with a plus one. Six, seven with two hits. And a plus one on this one. Ten, two hits. Nice. Not expecting that. All right, next guy up. That's the 97th. We got a minus one. Plus one is zero, rolling twice. We get a three and a five, both miss. Very nice. We come in with a plus two. Minus one is a plus one, plus two is a plus three. It's dispersed, plus four, plus five. Nine is two hits. Plus five, eight, one hit. <laughs> And plus three. Eight, nine, ten. Two hits. Very nice. Three more hits. Can we possibly get them or not? We have the chances. We have the chances, and he's a good bomber. He comes in zero against the flak. Plus one. Roll twice. One and a one. Damn. Both miss. Very nice. Plus one. Minus one is zero. Plus two. Plus three, plus four. It's eight. That's one hit. <sighs> plus four. <laughs> oh, miss. Oh. All comes down to this one. We get a plus two on him. Yep, plus two. Three, four, five. Barely. Ah, damn. Just missed. Ah. All right, so we're just going to get uh, heavy damage on that one, too. With both both targets, we came up one point short on. That's what I'm telling you. If the if we used the M30s with the two points, wait, we probably would have had both of these targets destroyed. But nope, now we got to go back in after them. Ah, that sucked. So close. Homer bound. Germans want revenge. Reroll Luftwaffe response. Add plus three to the response roll. So we're adding three, subtracting two is plus one. Get an eight. That's going to be high now. So they can come from one away. That's definitely going to affect us. Um, move mission counter. We move to here. We got this guy that can come after us now, so we got to draw one, and it's another veteran. He's going to get picked up by our Spitfire. He's at a minus five, so we can take the one. He gets the fire first again, no uh, out of the out of the uh, sun because we are a high escort. And he fires a two and misses. We fire back. We are shaken. That's a plus two. Minus two is a zero. We get a five. Nothing. 
second attack, which I should have done. He comes in firing. Three misses. Damn, that don't happen much, and we need a 10. Don't get it. So he at least goes three attacks. He gets to come back one more time at us. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He came from one away. He still gets three attacks. A two. He missed again. We're going to fire back a two. We don't get him. So he returns to the bandit deck. Ah, oh, boy. That was scary. And we get another engagement for him. That's a minus three, so that's going to take us up to a minus eight, and we are now DNIF, but that's only going to last for the next. The next uh, hex, anyway. So, and this guy goes to a three, and it's not going to matter because all these guys are going to just rearm right now, anyway. And we're back to base. So, once again, we screw up and do not quite get it. We get the final target damage of heavy. One short on both of them. Unbelievable. That's target number one. And both of these can go back to where they came from. All right, victory points. No victory points. We do get an experience point for each. So first week in November was a wash. Nobody did their job. Um, these guys all get one experience point. We go to four. Three. Ah, not him. Back to two. Two. Three. Goes to four. Both my fighters are in bad shape. Not what I wanted to do. Um, that's the end of the week. So we will go through. This guy gets the roll for repair. Eight plus. Gets a three. Does not repair. Uh, we can go through anybody that gets replenishment. Get that nail. Uh, how about we return these guys home and clean this up? All right, replenishment. They replenish, but they don't get any, they don't have any damage. Um, Mason can replenish two, so he's going to go ahead and remove two damage off of him. That's going to help us a lot. That takes us right back down to good status. This guy's at eight. He's not a good status. He's shaken. He will not be going out on missions anymore um, this, this month. So that's going to be it. That was week number one of November. And we did not do very good. Weather kind of screwed us on that one. All right. Thanks for joining me, everybody. B-17 Flying Fortress Leader by Dean Brown. Put out by DVG Games. And we will see you next time. Thanks for joining me.